Stone Live is brought to you by the generous donors of WLMB TV 40. We are grateful for every gift that helps support this show's ministry. Today is Thursday, January 11, 2024. I'm Dr. Jamie Schmitz, the president and CEO of WLMB TV 40. Of course, I'm joined by my co host for these past 25 years and our Senior Vice President of Programming, Virginia Basse. Well, Jamie, it's great to be here and also here with us today. Joining us will be Darren Munn. He is the CEO, founder of Munn Wealth Management. Yes, it's going to be wonderful. He's one of my most uh, favorite people in the whole wide world <laughs> and cannot wait to have him here in the studio in just a few moments. We're also, uh, I'm going to tease you just a little bit, uh, I'm also going to be revealing uh, who took fourth grade art with my wife, Rachel, when they were in fourth grade. So that we'll be talking about that, uh, prayer requests, feedback, and more, all on this episode of Toledo Live. And now, join us for Toledo Live. All right, Jamie, well, you know, there's a lot going on here in Ohio, uh, you know, especially uh, with our House and Senate. That's exactly right. Uh, so we want to cover a little bit of Ohio news. Ohio, Ohio House overrides divine, uh, DeWine veto. In Ohio news, yesterday the Ohio House of Representatives overrode Governor Mike DeWine's veto of House Bill 68. Uh, House Bill 68, which prohibits uh, athletes born biologically male from participating in intercollegiate sports. The bill also prohibits doctors from providing so-called gender-affirming medical care to children. The prohibited medical care covered in the bill includes so-called gender reassignment surgeries. With the Ohio House's override of Governor DeWine's uh, veto, the bill now goes to the Ohio Senate where they will decide whether or not to override the governor's veto. That vote could take place as soon as January 24th when the Ohio Senate reconvenes for the Senate's, for the state's business. If the Ohio Senate overrides the governor's veto, House Bill 68 will become Ohio law and take effect 90 days later. WLMB encourages our viewers to call your Ohio Senator and encourage them to vote to override Governor Mike DeWine's veto. And all I have to say to Governor Mike DeWine is shame on you. Shame on you. Absolutely, Jamie. I am in 100% complete agreement because we know that we were created in God's image, male and female, as his word says. And, uh, you know, we need to protect our children, protect marriage. And, um, you know, and then also, you know, as a female athlete, we need to protect women's sports as well. That's exactly right. And uh, I just also want to say before I forget uh, that that person uh, who took fourth grade art with my wife, Rachel, <laughs> is none, to, none other than Darren Munn, our guest on today's episode of Toledo We'll Live. find out if he's so, still, you know, quite the artist. We'll find out if he was a good student or not. <laughs> All right, that's, that's coming right. up. So also, we do have our Bible Q&A question for the day. Uh, what is grace is the question, and the answer is? Grace means that God offers us his love and forgiveness as a gift and not because we have earned it or deserve it. There's a textbook answer on the answering the question, what is grace? Well, I am so thankful for God's grace as I know I need it each and every day. Well, Jamie, we uh, need to talk more about our Channel 5 uh, you know, project, this Channel uh, 5 to 35 switch project. So maybe you could update our viewers as to what's happening. That's exactly right. So uh, as you may recall, uh, we have uh, taken on the Channel 5 to 35 switch project, which means the WLB will be moving from Channel 5 VHF to Channel 35 UHF, which will double the reach of WLMB's broadcast signal. Uh, so we're very, very excited about that, uh, that happening, uh, but we've had to raise quite a bit of money. And during our fall share -thon, our goal was $600,000, and we raised $602,000. Praise the Lord. Yes, and also uh, we had our, uh, our uh, 
Christmas share -thon, where because of the success of our fall share -thon, every dollar pledge could go into phase two, which is the purchase of uh, a transmitter, a mm -hmm. brand new Channel 35 transmitter. And uh, I'm pleased to let you know that right now we're at $347,605,000 left, but we do have some money to add to the tote board since Tuesday. Uh, we're adding another $805, getting us to $348,000. $410, leaving with us with a difference of $131,590 left to go to be able to purchase that $480,000 new transmitter to complete the Channel 5 to 35 switch project. Now, I do have some new news. I haven't even told you this yet, uh, but tom tomorrow, uh, Danny Proshek, our senior engineer, and myself, and also a company called Made Right Construction Services uh, is going to be going up to the Jasper transmitter site because, as you all may remember, WLMB signed on the air originally with a transmitter called um, uh, Analog Channel 40. Yes, that's why we're known as we're WLMB 40. TV yes. 40. But that transmitter has been out of commission for the last 13 years as we've been on the air with Channel 5, our VHF signal. Well, that Channel 40 transmitter has never been removed. And you say, well, why don't you just take it out of there? Well, it's because it weighs about 5,000 pounds and probably has about I'm going to say at least two or 3,000 pounds of overhead piping mm. that uh, puts everything together. It is quite the contraption, and it's now time to have that removed. But because of the money, the faithfulness of people already, we know that we're going to be able to use uh, this demolition company to be able to remove the transfer. So we're going up there to do the, the planning for that. And also, Virginia, what's really exciting, uh, we just have a few minutes left, uh, we do want to pull up our billboard of our room naming opportunity because next Wednesday, uh, January 17th, we're going to be having our first room dedication worship service, and we will actually be naming uh, the uh, programming office. Virginia's office is actually going to be named, and uh, Virginia, why don't you share a little bit sure, more about that? Sure, absolutely. Let's, let's tell people, maybe they can do a close-up of that at home. So if you look at your screen, uh, Virginia's office is in room number H. H is in horse. <laughs> and that name, that room is going to be named, and uh, Virginia shared well, a little bit about Well, you know, dear that. friends of the ministry, Roger and Diane Moore, they're making this very generous gift, and they're doing it in honor of their friends, Stu and Marlene Ferris, that they, uh, you know, they're friends with, they go to church with them, they just love on them, and Stu and Marlene, our volunteers here at WLMB, have been part of our prayer force for many years, and so they wanted to do something this, uh, you know, special for them. So we're I mean, super excited. When you think about this, um, Roger and Diane giving this gift in honor of their friends, uh, and the fact that they're really behind the Channel 5 to 35 switch project, um, because every dollar that's raised uh, that they've given is going to go into purchasing that new transmitter that we need so desperately. So, uh, I mean, what a wonderful wonderful two couples, but think about some friends coming along and saying, we would like to honor you and we're going to name uh, a, a room in a facility that you've volunteered in many, many times uh, on the WMB Prayer Force. So we're really looking forward to next Wednesday. Uh, my daughter, Rebecca Proshek, is going to be providing the music by piano. Uh, we'll have an, a plaque that we'll be unveiling. Uh, I'll be giving a special message and uh, we'll just have a time of sharing among uh, friends and family, then a meal after that. And um, it, it's just going to be a wonderful service. And we just also want to let people know that obviously uh, you can see on the screen that some of the rooms are yellowed out. That means they're spoken for. But we still have more rooms available. We do have more rooms available. And if you would like to consider having a room named after you know, some friends of yours or a family member or in honor or in memory of someone, uh, we will work with you and put that together. And we'll put together a worship dedication service uh, for for you as well. That's but right. We're really people, looking forward to our first one coming up next Wednesday. That's right. And so if people would like, uh, you know, to be a part of this or to give to this switch project, they can go to ToledoLive.tv or, Toled or WLMB.com uh, and uh, we can put up our QR code and people can use their phones to to give a generous gift as that will and take them then to real our quickly, donate page as uh, well. Because we're running out of time, our deadline for being able to purchase the transmitter is January 31st. 
we have decided to have a, uh, a, a real kind of, we haven't put this out in print, uh, we're barely going to get it out on the line, but kind of in a little bit, I don't want to call it an emergency chair -thon, but with that last $131,000 we need to raise before January 31st, we're having a chair -thon. And it's going to be running from 8.30 to 9 o'clock in the morning, and then in the afternoons, all the way up to 5 o'clock. A lot of your regular programs will still be on, uh, but you can see the schedule that we're going to be doing uh, from uh, the 19th until the 25th. Is that correct? I mean, no, the 15th until the, yeah, 26th. the next two weeks. Monday through Friday, then Monday through so Friday. So we're starting on Monday yes. and encourage your friends and family to tune in. And uh, we also want to encourage you that if you can stand with us at you know, a larger gift, we are looking for day sponsors. And here's a video to tell you more about that. And when we come back, we're going to have Darren Munn from Munn Wealth Management right here in the studio. Being a WLMB day sponsor is a great way to show your support for this television outreach. One of the benefits of becoming a WLMB day sponsor is that you will receive an opportunity to be recognized and have a special message created that will be broadcast on WLMB several times throughout your chosen day. Many that have participated at the day sponsor level have given gifts in honor or in memory of a special loved one or as a way to say happy birthday or happy anniversary. WLMB will work closely with you to make sure that just the right message is put together for your special day. Call today. Thank you. Yes, please call or go to WLMB.com or ToledoLive.net to make that special gift today. Well, Jamie, we have with us... One of my most favorite people in the whole wide world. And he was also a student of Rachel's in art class in <laughs> fourth right. grade. And, and we, she said he was a wonderful young man. Oh, well... So awesome. I did ask her if she remembered about, you know, the quality of his art in fourth grade. She said, honestly, she didn't remember, but... Well, maybe he'll tell She us remembered about it. he was very disciplined <laughs> and he was a very nice young man. All right, well... And here he is as a grown man, here as the founder and CEO of Mun Wealth <laughs> Management. Darren, thank you for being with us. It's my, my, my pleasure, but clearly my art was not memorable. So, I mean, I think that, that that's all you need to know about that. I'm a numbers guy. I'm not an art guy. So, yeah. well, that's all right. We all have different gifts and talents from the Lord. That's right. So that's you're right. using yours appropriately. I, uh, I hope so. Management. <laughs> well, uh, we know that you also have a beautiful family. So uh, maybe do. you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. Well, we, my wife and I have 11 children be, between the two of us. And, uh, We've been married uh, over nine years, so we're coming up on our 10 year anniversary. And your wife's name is? My wife is Erin. So yeah, they always Darren like it when Aaron, they're watching so it tonight. We, we, we like yeah. rhyming, you know. Erin yeah. and Erin. So, Erin <laughs> and Erin, that's right. So, uh, but this is uh, our, our 11 children. Uh, it's and, amazing uh, to get them a, all a together. A grandchild and, and a bonus child uh, and, and uh, a, 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 a one of our, our, Aaron's oldest son is married, so his wife is in there. So, so we, you know, our family is growing. We have a lot of people and, um, it makes Beautiful. Christmas very exciting. So uh, these are our three youngest uh, that we have together. And, and so um, they definitely keep us uh, um, on the move. I believe this picture was taken in New York. We did a little trip to New York at the beginning of December to, to see New York in the holiday season. And it was just really cool, so yeah. Well, beautiful family. Now, one of the things we talked about, we just discovered just a minute ago, is uh, we were talking about the fact that this is WMB's 25th anniversary. Yes. But this is also... It's our, our 25th anniversary too. So I, I started well, what is now Mun Wealth Management in uh, August of, of 1998. So very similar to when LMB was kicking off. And so it's kind of exciting that we share the same uh, big anniversary this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you head into year 26, you know, 2024, um, you know, maybe tell us a little bit about what kind of expectations or you, uh, you know, financially for your family. Uh, Jamie, you had a question. Yeah, um, I, I was just thinking, I was talking to Virginia earlier, and I said, you know, uh, Darren is asked every day for advice for other people's finances, but I'm kind of like, I wonder if he's taken inventory of his own finances <laughs> and what his goals are for 2024, and if he has plans. So, Darren, don't mean to catch you off guard here, but Buddy, what have you decided to do for yourself? <laughs> that is a great question because I, I do believe that, you know, we, we should be following the same advice that we're giving to other people. And so um, my wife and I are, are, are in the process, as we often do at the beginning of the year, of, of putting together our financial plan for the year. You know, how are we going to spend the money that we, that we have on a, on, a, on a weekly or monthly basis? Um, how are we going to spend that? We, you know, we're identifying 
what trips we want to take. With our, with our family, you can see travel gets very <laughs> expensive very quickly. Our grocery bill, <laughs> um, I don't even want to throw out the numbers for that, but um, you know, li life is, is expensive, right? And, and so you know, we have a finite amount of money and a lot more desires than, than maybe what that money can provide for. So we have to determine in advance how we're going to use those resources. And then we're also looking at how can we uh, save money in taxes and also prepare for the future. So you know, we've been talking about you know, how much are we gonna set aside in our retirement accounts for the year? Um, you know, are we setting aside any money in, you know, for, for education expenses for the children? Um, and so you know, those are the conversations that we're, we're actively having. Uh, we actually are in the process of a series of um, meetings or discussions, let's say, you know, as, as we're working through all of these decisions uh, at the beginning of the year, and then that will kind of guide our decision making as we go through the rest of the year. So it sounds to me like uh, you're, you're saying planning. Planning is pretty key to being you know, financially successful, which I know, you know, in talking about today's show, we talked about, you know, what are some things that, uh, that we want to kind of go over? And you said, well, how about some things not to do yeah. in 2024? If you, want to fi if you want financial disaster, you know, this is what's going to happen. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I give a lot of financial advice to people, right? And, and it always baffles me at times that some people just don't follow it. <laughs> and it finally hit me. Not everybody wants to be happy, right? You know, some people just <laughs> like to be miserable. Well, and and so sad. I thought, you know, why don't we speak specifically to those people that want to have a miserable year in 2024 financially? And so <laughs> I thought today we'll talk about the top three ways you can have a miserable financial life in 2024. All right. <laughs> yeah, so how does that sound? So the first one is just wing it. Just wing right? it. Who needs a plan, right? Just wing <laughs> it. You know, don't worry about planning. We're just going to live day to day. Um, now, it, on the surface, that sounds like, hey, that doesn't sound so miserable, right? Because nobody likes budgeting. It's boring. That sounds miserable. So initially, it might be a little bit less misery. But I can almost assure you that if you don't have a plan, that it will lead to misery later on in the year and, and, and it will build over time. And so if you want to have a miserable financial life, just wing it. Don't worry about planning. You know, it, it'll, it, it'll, it'll, you know, it'll lead to over, excuse me, overspending. It'll, it'll likely lead to higher credit card debt, uh, which means you're paying more in interest payments. And nothing um, for emergencies. Yeah, yeah, well, absolutely. You, you won't have, yeah. you know, so, I mean, inevitably, you know, when you have that home repair or that car repair, or you drop your cell phone in the toilet, right? You're not <laughs> going to have money for, for those types of things. And, and so those things become emergencies, which, which will definitely build the misery level in your financial life as you, as you go through Yeah, the so year. do you hear that, Virginia? Don't wing it. I hear don't that. You know. I hear it. Don't wing it. But I am really interested in number two. Number two. <laughs> yeah, move on to number two now. <laughs> N number two is don't worry about paying your bills on time. Ooh. You know, just to, don't worry about it, right? I mean, they don't, you know, those, those due dates are just arbitrary. They don't really mean anything. And, and those companies have all the money they need. They don't need my money, right? right? You know, so just don't worry about paying your bills on time. You don't have to worry about late fees. Right, right. Now, again, it kind of <laughs> seems like maybe that wouldn't be miserable. You know, because you don't have to worry about due dates. But the reality is, you know, this one produces misery a little bit faster than the first one because you do get those late fees. You know, your interest rates get jacked up, you know, if you're not paying your bills on time. And, and, and the, the, the misery just snowballs from there, right? Because your credit score goes down Ooh. and, you know, it makes it harder Never when you want to go buy one. a car <laughs> or buy a house or even if you want to get an apartment because they run credit checks now too, right? Yeah. And so almost anything you want to buy is going to get harder. Even getting a cell phone or, or utility bills, they run credit checks. And so when, when you just decide, you know, that you're not going to be dependable financially, then the misery really ramps up. So if, if you want to be miserable, just don't worry about that stuff. Just, just prove that you're not reliable when it comes to your finances. And I assure you, it will be plenty miserable for you. Well, wow. to you know, keep going on that very positive note. <laughs> so, numero three. That's right, number three. Yeah. No, number three is keep it all for yourself. Mm. You know, just don't worry about tithing. Don't worry about giving to charity or, or being generous. You know, if you have a friend who's in need, just tell them no. Right? <laughs> just keep it all for yourself because you know, scripture. 
this Bible thing, right? Yeah. If you read that, there's a lot of advice in there, and God gives us wisdom about how to apply biblical principles. And one of the things that, that, that are contained in that wisdom is there are blessings that come when we follow biblical principles That's right. and blessings kind of counteract misery. <laughs> so if you want misery, you do not want those blessings that God talks about. In Just fact, do all three of those things. Well, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, in fact, in Malachi 3, it says that if you don't follow God's wisdom, if you don't give back to God what he's asked for, that you're under a curse. So that to me sounds like the perfect recipe for misery. So if you want to have a miserable financial life, don't do what God says in Malachi 3. Don't bring your tithe to the storehouse. Don't be generous. And I assure you that you will have a miserable financial life. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you and Aaron, it sounds like, uh, you know, are planning, you know, and I know that you guys are givers. You're, you're doing the opposite of that. So right. we're looking forward to a great year full of many blessings. And, um, and so what are, you know, to, to counteract the to being miserable, how can we be joyful then? Yeah, absolutely. So, so, so naturally, for not everybody wants to be miserable, right? There, right. there, there is a, a select subset. So naturally, if, <laughs> if you don't want to be miserable, don't do any of the stuff that we just talked about, right? Really do the exact opposite. You know, have a plan. You know, know, know how you're going to spend your resources, not just today, but even into the future. Um, you know, make sure you, you are, are being reliable with your finances. Pay your bills, Pay your on, bills time. on time. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and third, you know, and most importantly, follow biblical principles. Be generous. You know, you know, give back to God, you know, especially in, in, in the tithe. Um, and do the things that God has, has talked about in Scripture. And it promises blessings for those that are faithful stewards of his resources. And as we head into this new year, what kind of financial projections might, you know, oh, yeah. do you have? Yeah. You know, I, I think it's important to keep in mind, you know, the, the jobs market has been pretty good the last several years. However, you know, we are starting to see some signs that, you know, things are going to be a little bit tougher as we move into the future when it comes to maybe the jobs market. And, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if, if the economy, you know, slows down a little bit from where we are. So I think it's, a, it's another reason for us to be prepared financially mm -hmm. and not to be in a situation where we're carrying a lot of debt or, or you know, winging it. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, let's make sure we have a plan because there will probably be some surprises in the coming you know, years when it comes to what's going on in the economy and the world. And, and we want to make sure that we're in a good position to handle those surprises that may come our way. Very well, that good. sounds like some great words of wisdom, Darren. We certainly do appreciate you coming and sharing that with our viewers. That's right. My pleasure. And congratulations on your 25 years. Yes, thank you. And, and same yeah. to you. Will you be back to visit us another time? Here? I, I would love to. I would love to. All right. We'll have you back. Thank you, Darren. All right, well, we have an excellent movie coming up this weekend that you don't want to miss. Take a look at this promo. Sarah was on the fast track to success. Just think, honey, in a couple of months, you'll have a glass office like me. It's going to be goodbye to the boiler room. Hello, big time. Until something unexpected happened. <laughs> something wrong? Throughout this morning, I'm not pregnant. Prove me wrong. What's the accuracy of these things anyway? Have you told the father? It's your body and your choice. If you decide to not have it, it's best he never even knows about it. I can't have an abortion. What's there to decide? A child is going to change everything. Do you really think they're gonna give the Connex account to a pregnant woman? Well, first of all, I would never be in Clay's position. You are in Clay's position, man. I'm pregnant. He's not ready for this. Is anybody ever ready to have a baby? You can't have an abortion. It seems a little late in the day for God to start caring about me and my needs. You've been given the opportunity to see things from a divine perspective. Sarah's Joys. Be sure to check out this pro-life movie that you're only going to see on WLMB, uh, you know, uh, in this area. So we uh, want to also encourage you to check out some events that are happening. And so if you're in the Perrysburg area, then uh, head on over to downtown Perrysburg for their winter fest. That's this weekend, January 12th and 13th. They'll have live ice carving demonstrations, a large inflatable polar bear slide, hot chocolate crawl and s'mores party, kids dash, um, obstacle course, and so much more. You don't want to miss that. 
And then attention ladies, there is a Grace Church invites you to the Perry's to Perrysburg for their uh, Pursuing His Heart Women's Retreat. And that is um, located at 715 East Boundary in Perrysburg, Ohio, January 26th to the 27th. All women are welcome. And get ready to laugh as Tim Hawkins will be live in concert at, uh, he, at Cedar Creek Church on Thursday, February 29th at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss this. And if you wanted to get your event uh, on Toledo Live, then please let us know about it and check out our page um, at ToledoLive.net. Just fill out this form and go ahead and submit it. Also, you know, for your prayer requests and feedback as well. Yeah, speaking of prayer requests and feedback, I think we have a few of those to read this. Yes, all right. Uh, please, please pray for family salvation. That's Rick from Toledo, Ohio. And Ruth from Archbold, Ohio says, please pray that therapy is able to help me walk better. All right, and that please pray for my father who has health concerns and my granddaughter who is going through testing for cancer. That's Lynn from Sandusky, Ohio. Yeah, so we just wanna invite you to join in prayer for these people and, um, and we'll be praying for them as well. We also have some uh, feedback that people have sent in. So Linda from Lakeside, Ohio says, thank you for all you do. Most of my church is watching your programming and it has been such an encouragement. Oh, wonderful. And then Cecilia from Clinton, Ohio says, I always tell others to watch your station because it will uplift them. Your programming gives others hope that even on your worst day, it will also be your best day when you trust in him. Isn't that the truth? And Tony from Bryan, Ohio says, I love your channel because of the clean TV shows, testimonies, and heartfelt interviews. All Wonderful. Right. Well, that's some good words. And uh, I do have a little devotion, a uh, devotional thought for today. And it's based on uh, Proverbs 13, 11, uh, because Darren Munn was in the house. I thought uh, this would be a good verse. It says, dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. And isn't that the truth? You know, uh, I know that's been my experience. You know, it's been your experience. That's right. Uh, you know, this is our 25 years of being with WMB TV 40. And actually it's been Mun Wealth Management uh, for 20 of those 25 years. We didn't have that in the first five years of WMB, but uh, we have always had WMB's 401k plan. Uh, so employees can put away a little bit over time and, uh, and we can see that grow. And uh, I have to tell you that Mun Wealth Management has done exceedingly well uh, for all WLV's employees that choose to participate in that 401k plan. Uh, but uh, great verse from the Bible, uh, great proverb from the Bible, and gives us great wisdom. That's right. Well, we want to encourage you once again to check out our website, ToledoLive.net, and there you can make a special gift as, you know what, because uh, we're also heading into our share -a Right, and I think we have a billboard. Yes, that's our QR code. So Monday at uh, 8.30 a.m., we'll be coming up with the channel 5 to 35 Switch Project share -a It's going to be Monday through Friday starting at 8, uh, January 15th for two weeks, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. So folks, please watch our share -a Thank you for tuning in to today's program. Please submit your comments, feedback, and prayer requests at our website, ToledoLive.tv. There, you can also watch previous episodes and find valuable links. Also, be sure to share this program with your family and friends. WLMB would also like to give a special thank you to our generous viewers who continue to make this program possible.